Hi, so uh, I just want to give you guys a quick tour of some of the classes and programs at Mission College in the Graphic Design and Multimedia program. Uh, my name is Mark Garrett. I'm the department chair, so I'm just going to quickly fly through this little thing here. And I think we have a little video here. Video within a video. That was fun, right? Uh, so these are some of our programs that we have. Uh, we have a graphic design program, both a certificate of achievement and an AS degree, uh, which are both being updated, probably updated by the time you see this, maybe. Uh, we have a web design a certificate of achievement. We have a web developer certificate of achievement, uh, digital illustration, and we have a new user experience design certificate, which uh, will probably be in effect by the time you see this too, maybe. Um, it's in process and uh, some of the classes are already running, so shouldn't be too long. Um, so we did, like I said, we have this user experience and interface design certificate. Uh, should be approved by 2122. Uh, some of the classes are um, GDS 70, which is user experience and interface design. GDS 72, digital imaging and interface design. GDS 76, which is uh, user experience um, interface and multimedia design, and then 77 is interactive projects and explorations. Uh, working also with the Diablo Valley, Valley College um, to articulate classes, um, and what that means is you can take some classes uh, here at Mission or at Mission, and then uh, both online and in person, and you can also take classes at Diablo Valley, and we're trying to sort of uh, synchronize that so that you can take classes at either place, depending on what class is running in which semester. Um, some other classes that are going on or new classes or revised classes are typography. Uh, hoping to articulate that with San Jose State. So that means you'd get credit for that class at San Jose State if you were going to go there for graphic design, for example. Uh, we have graphic design 2, which is an advanced InDesign course. That class is already running. JavaScript 2 and web development. Um, other classes planned would be 3D for illustration and design and digital drawing. And we have tons of other classes too. I think, I don't even know how many, 20, 25, 30 classes, something like that. Uh, facilities, uh, quickly, this is Gilmore Center, um, opened fall of 14, so it's pretty new, uh, really kind of uh, nice facilities that we have. Um, this is also, uh, on the top there, you can see the Student Engagement Center, opened in 2018. That's where the offices are, and admissions and records and things like that, and as well as class. Classrooms, but beautiful building. Uh, lots of construction is ongoing, I'm not going to show you that right now because it changes all the time. Um, but down at the bottom, you can see the new business and tech building. Um, uh, we're also looking into a VR, AR photo video production room to include in some of these buildings or maybe existing buildings, but, um, lots of stuff going on as far as facilities. Um, in Gilmore, we have a couple of Mac labs, um, that we use photo, do things like Photoshop, uh, video editing. I have Final Cut Pro there, but it might be something else by the time you see this. Um, but video editing and production, uh, motion graphics, web design, user experience design, user interface design, anything with design in the name. Well, not really, but lots of stuff, right? Uh, labs, we have a couple of PC labs as well, um, where we do things like um, 3D and desktop publishing using InDesign and packaging design and, and things like that. Uh, we have a Facebook page. You probably don't care about that, but we do have a Facebook page. You could look that up, Mission College Graphic Design and Multimedia. Uh, it's facebook.com slash mission college design. We also have a website, obviously. Um, I can show you that at the end. Um, that's design.missioncollege.edu, where you can see uh, more information about classes and programs and what you need to take and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, and that's probably more up to date than maybe this video even. Um, we also have an Instagram page where you can see um, work by students and announcements and lots of cool stuff about stuff uh, things going on with the department i'll show you that at the end maybe if i remember 
uh, <laughs> student work. So I'm just going to show you a little bit of student work uh, from some of our students. That makes sense, right? So this is a uh, user experience design uh, where they were making a basically a kiosk for a cruise line. Um, I'm making this video during the pandemic, so there's not a ton of cruise going cruising going on. Probably not a good idea, but um, yeah, I'm assuming that someday there will be cruises again. Um, so it talks about the over overview, the problem statement changes. So it really kind of goes through the process of the the user experience design process, making personas, which are people that represent who you're going to design for, um, doing sketching and planning, um, and then also wireframing, uh, which is sort of like a blueprint um, that you would see for a building, but it's for a, a kiosk in this case. And then uh, doing color and typography work. Typography is the design of type. Uh, if you've never heard that before, but you would learn that. And uh, then there's the final designs for that kiosk. Um, more user experience design stuff. This is an app, something to do with food, I'm thinking. Um, website design, we have a, a, do a lot of web design classes, web design and development, but web design. Um, some really nice stuff gets done there. These are some examples of that. I have a live prototype of this, but I think I'm gonna skip that for now and try to make this video short. Um, photography, we have uh, lots of uh, great photography work being done by our students. Um, digital photography, uh, compositing, things like that. This isn't real, by the way. Um, that would be pretty interesting if that was real. Um, but uh, yeah, lots of stuff using compositing and advanced compositing in various photography and Photoshop classes. Um, stuff like this, right? Pretty cool. And that, and uh, all kinds of photography too, as far as fashion or product photography and portraiture and fine art and kind of everything. Um, also illustration. So this is done using Adobe Illustrator, I, um, using it for, to do posters and things. So some examples of that. Um, we have a lot of work being done in that. And those are some posters and things. Sorry, I'm going fast, but you can pause the video and look at it all again if you wanted to. Um, this is using Illustrator to make some assets for web design. So banners and things that might go on a website. Infographics. Um, Product illustrations. So this is uh, like a technical illustration or a technical drawing of a, well, it's not really a technical drawing, but a, an illustration of a, of a camera. So that's all done in, in uh, Illustrator as well. More infographic stuff, presenting information in a visually pleasing way. Lots of, lots of in-depth information. Uh, typography and type design. So this is some examples from some of those classes. Uh, student work. There you go there. And then uh, we also have a class called Branding in the Agency that works with uh, real clients and designs. This one isn't a real client, but real clients and um, does uh, full sort of branding for different clients, small businesses, things like that. This is more packaging, packaging design. We have packaging design as well. Uh, one of the few places in the Bay Area that you can do packaging design. Uh, print design, obviously, we do that too, logos and things. Uh, we have portfolio classes where you'll uh, create a portfolio that'll hopefully help you get a job if you're, if you're doing that. We have a lot of students that are not looking to do a whole degree or a certificate either. They just want to improve their skills, sort of skill builders, we call them. So maybe maybe uh, we even have students that have degrees in, in graphic design and they come back to us to say, you know what, I kind of want a little more hands-on experience with Photoshop or Illustrator or whatever. Um, so we have that too. So um, all different kinds of students some getting degrees, some just kind of brushing up on skills and and uh, practicing. Uh, some more branding stuff or personal branding. Um, advanced Photoshop kind of compositing stuff. This image was assembled from multiple images. Um, not real, right, right? It's not Marvel or anything. Um, yeah, more Photoshop stuff, compositing, uh, 3D modeling and animation. We do have classes in game and game design. Um, different kinds of games, game design, like, uh, mobile game design, um, level design, things like that. Uh, mobile game design. Uh, web animation. We do have a class in web animation. So you would learn something like, uh, um, some of the Adobe apps or different ways to animate on the web. Animation is huge on the web, obviously. So, uh, that's one, another thing that we have. And uh, motion graphics. I'll show you an example of motion graphics at the end um, as well, I think. 
Uh, these are just some links to some more motion graphics. So st student successes. So we have a lot of students that do various internships and things. We've had students work at NASA on in-house graphics, uh, Mountain View City Council, Stanford Engineering Department, Silicon Valley Business Journal, Sierra Club, etc. So lots of that kind of stuff going on. Um, we also have had students participate in something called the Create-a-thon. Later it became, I think, the big idea through the Silicon Valley Business Journal. And in competition with different schools, um, we would compete for $25,000 worth of uh, marketing uh, money from Silicon Valley Business Journal. And uh, won that contest quite a bit uh, in competition with other schools. So this on the right that you're seeing is um, one of the winning uh, entries. So the students, our students did everything. Um, photography, layout, the whole campaign. And this is not the whole campaign. This is just one piece of it. Uh, logo design, branding, the whole thing. Um, and that they got $25,000 for their client, a real client. So um, yeah, so great, great success stories that way. Uh, we've also had students um, compete uh, nationally or actually internationally in, um, in uh, UX design for the uh, NASA Space Apps Challenge and things like that. Um, so yeah, lots of stuff like that. And uh, student portfolios, you could probably find that on our website. Some of these links that I have in here, since I'm doing this in a video, you could go to the Mission College uh, website, look for the Graphic Design and Multimedia Program and you'll find some of these uh, links in our department pages. This is just a little sample of uh, some motion graphics. So this is done using uh, Adobe After Effects. So we have a class in motion graphics and After Effects is super fun. Motion graphics are fun. You can kind of think of it as Photoshop that moves. That's the way I like to think about it. Uh, that's probably good to get the idea, but um, yeah, we do that that kind of stuff as well. That is Adobe After Effects. Just wanted to show you a couple of uh, web pages as well. Um, so, like I said, we have a website, of course, <laughs> for the department where you can see information about programs and things. So, if you scroll down, uh, it may it probably will change by the time you see this, or maybe. But if you scroll down somewhere, you'll be able to find um, requirements for our programs. So here's graphic design AS degree, which we have an associate in science, a two-year degree. And here are the classes involved with that. Things like graphic design one, Photoshop, portfolio, production, drawing, uh, digital illustration, typography, et cetera. So that stuff is all available on the um, department website. Like I said, we do have an Instagram. It's design at mission. Uh, you can see student work and things like that um, there. And um, yeah, I think that's all I'm gonna show you because I don't wanna keep you guys. I know everybody's busy, lots of stuff going on, right? Everybody's busy. So uh, thanks a lot for watching and uh, hopefully we'll see you again later.